today, I'm going to be talking about something that I didn't want to be talking about. How much I love and hate the Canon EOS R. As a video capture device compared to the other cameras that I have, the quality is amazing. I love it. It looks fantastic. I can really play with it. I can push it and pull it and do the color grades. When it comes to a photo camera, it frustrates me so, so much. And mainly because my main shooter is a Canon 1DX Mark II, which is amazing. The quality is amazing. The responsiveness, it's, it's so good. And I was really, really hoping that I could just travel with one camera. The one gripe, the one big, big gripe, like the photo quality is really good on both these cameras. The video quality I prefer from the Canon EOS R, but the one big gripe that I have with it is the, in the lag of responsiveness when I'm taking photos. Now I know that this is a beast of a camera. This is an amazing camera. Uh, it's been my main shooter for, for so long, but I was hoping the EOS R was able to at least give me the same experience, uh, I, I guess is the best way to, to, to describe it. Because overall, this is a really big camera, it's heavy, and I was hoping to be able to take a more compact camera with me as my one camera. Um, definitely when I go on a big shoot, I take all my equipment with me, but when I'm doing smaller stuff or vlogging or whatnot, or just, just my everyday in my bag camera, I wanted something that was a bit more compact. So I was really excited about the EOS R. Watching a lot of reviews, it was fantastic. So when I picked it up, this is my expectation on using a camera. Ready? I just wanted to clarify, I don't shoot like that. I just wanted to demonstrate how fast and responsive the 1DX is when you push a shutter and how fast it can refocus on something new. All right, back to the video. It is a beast. It finds focus in an instant. The camera grabbed focus and it grabbed the, the image and it's great and it's perfectly sharp. I'm gonna do the same with the EOS R, ready? It's a subtle difference, but it's a frustrating difference. The lag in the shutter trigger drives me nuts because I've been spoiled with the 1DX on how fast and responsive it is. So I got really used to how amazing that camera is. So every time I take a picture and I need to capture that moment, even something as simple as, and this is the, the part that took me over the edge. We were doing a birthday party and I just wanted to grab the photo of my niece blowing out the candle. And the lag on it trying to capture the focus miss those moments because I would push the shutter, but the picture would happen half a second later and her face was already out of frame or the moment was gone. And as a photographer, that drives me nuts. So I really, really wanted to use this as my main photo shooter. Now, some I've spoke to some people and they're saying that it could be the Canon ND adapter that could be causing the, the lag in the, in the focus. And they say that I should get the RF lenses. I don't want to buy the RF lenses. I want to use all my glass that I have already that works on all my other cameras. I don't want to switch glass just for one camera. I want to be able to swap all this out. But until then, I need a camera that I know that as soon as I point it, it's going it, to... I'm not moving. So I'm stuck. What do I do? I love the video quality of the Canon EOS R. Love it. It matches the C200s and the, the C300s. Canon, if you're watching, let me know if there's a solution. I may be the idiot. I may not have the settings right. I will keep looking. But right now, that is my frustration. I love the quality of both of the cameras. The images look fantastic. It's the mechanics. It's the functionality. It's the responsiveness that is driving me nuts right now, especially coming from a 1DX body. That's This is probably the best camera that I've ever worked with, and it's my favorite. I'm well aware that this is the high-end flagship camera. I just wanted something that I can take with me and always be able to capture the moment with the same responsiveness as this camera. It's my love and hate relationship with the Canon EOS R. It's a great little camera. 
It's fantastic. The quality is really, really good. The images are great. The sensor works great. The flippy screen is great. All the little features are fantastic. Being able to work with it in post is fantastic. It's just that little bit of delay makes you miss the moment. And that's almost the deal breaker for me. I hope you guys enjoy this one. I hope this is informative. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you guys use these camera systems, which one you love the most, what you guys recommend. If there's any solutions, I would love to hear them. I'm gonna keep looking. If I find out a solution, I will definitely do a recap. I hope this helps you guys to make your decision moving forward. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Give me a big thumbs up. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye for now.